Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. Okay, okay, okay. Let's find out what's going on in Scorpio's world. Or some of you, maybe not all of you. Tired of the rat race. Moving on. So, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Somebody made something sound real good, Scorpio. Real good. Turned out... They never had this shit together to begin with. They're juggling their pinnacles. They, they're competing with you. Why? Why, spirit? Looks like you're, you're moving in the other direction regardless. What is... The challenge here, spirit. What is the challenge? We don't even care about the past. We, we're moving on from the past. Six of Swords. A brand new beginning. A leap of faith. You've enlightened yourself about some kind of cold hard truth that uh, it looks like you needed to face it. So you could have this brand new beginning. So you could move forward in your life. I think I think it was the last reading I did that was where you were at was like the page of wands starting out this journey. The fool is zero, zero point. So that means that you're manifesting from an empty circle. That's a good thing because then you won't manifest the same things you just manifested before that left you facing some kind of truth about whatever this was. Eight of Wands in the immediate future. That's a message coming in. It's a brand new beginning, Scorpio. Financially, It's a brand new beginning. This could be a new job. Or it could simply mean that you've got a new financial goal. I do feel like this is financial. Something that left you kind of juggling before. You're not allowing it to do it anymore. You're using your intuition, your high priestess energy. Standing on your own two feet and waiting as long as you have to for the right offer to come in. The outside influence here. The factor affecting the situation is a high priestess. You might be dealing with a Pisces. Don't know. I don't know if you're sending or receiving this message. We will find out. I feel like you're sending it. What is the outside influence here? Must be an awful lot. Ooh. <laughs> The outside influence here is family, balance, and apology, work. Somebody's trying to make something up to you, Scorpio. Either that or it's the other way around. Somebody's definitely trying to make up here. Very quickly, I might add, to an empress. There might even be the joining of families here. Check it out. So we get the Page of Cups, and then we get Temperance, which is balance. 
Remember, the immediate future is this message that you're either going to get or send very quickly to a Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Okay? So I don't know if you're receiving or you're sending this message, but it's happening in the now time. There's definitely some kind of apology here. Somebody is trying to make up for lost time. Like I said, it could be a whole family, a home, mother, Mother's Day, Mother's Day. Wow, so that went there. Alrighty then. So I do feel like you're trying to work something out for Mother's Day. Perhaps you sent the message to your mom. It says something to do with home and family. And enlightening yourself about an empress and I feel like this is like two families joining together why am I feeling that let me know in the comments what is the hope or the fear here disappointment five of cups Toxicity. That's what you're... Okay. So, there's a toxic dynamic to this situation. That's what you're trying to avoid. Either... The tr there's a truth about an addiction here cold hard truth about some kind of addiction in the family and I, and I feel like that's that's upset upsetting for you maybe it's like an intervention yeah, I'm feeling family intervention here this is a hope or a fear that somebody's gonna find out something what is the final outcome here what is the final outcome? So I got the Hermit and there's that Ace of Pentacles again. So, I think you wised up to their game here, whatever that was. And you're waiting on what's fair to you. I don't know what that means. Let's see, let's see uh, if we can clarify. Yeah, justice, leaving, leaving, leaving the past behind. Six of Swords, leaving that past behind. Like ain't nobody's business. And taking a leap of faith. You let, look. Leaving that devil in the past. It could be an actual Capricorn. King of Swords, standing in your truth. Judgment and page one. I said, listen, damn it. Uh, <laughs> it might have come off real cold, whatever this is that you took a leap of faith on. It might have come off real cold. I said, listen, damn it. Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. So, uh, 
You took the devil and turned him turned it into a magician. So you alchemized a devil. Oh. I don't know why I'm getting this, but um King of Swords, Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So you want the truth back. That's all you want. You're willing to take a leap of faith in someone's direction. But you want the facts. About some kind of obsessive... Um, manipulation here it feels like you're willing to give somebody another chance like I said maybe they're in your family because I'm feeling big Mother's Day energy here don't know why but not in this energy it's like you want back the truth that you gave okay so I've been honest your turn kind of energy What is the Eight of Wands about, Spirit? We, we need to know. What is the Eight of Wands about? Four of Cups, King of Wands Tower. You know, I did a reading earlier, and, and it kind of came out the same way that you're healed. You went within to seek your answers. You got healed from this King of Wands, whoever they was. And you broke down a tower. <clears throat> I feel like you're the one who is busting towers down here. You just don't want it anymore. Even No matter what this person says to you or does, you're ready for a new beginning. I feel like the challenge here is you giving it a chance. But at the same token, I don't see I don't see you giving it another chance. You might. You healed from this though. Don't go backwards, Scorpio. Don't go backwards. Because when you lower your vibe to meet someone else at theirs, you the one that gets the tower. Okay? I do feel like you don't want this person, though. I, I feel like this person is like... Maybe they need to get checked. Obsess much. Queen of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Somebody's, somebody's like... Somebody's showing off here, uh, and it might be a Pisces. But the King and Queen of Wands here is somebody who who matches who matches your energy. But I don't think you. I think underneath you already know this. It's like, um, I know how to put this, like a secret hater who doesn't want you, but doesn't want anybody else to have you. Oh, you standing on your own. You, you're strong. You can handle this. This person may want you. Maybe you don't want them. But they're still trying to stay in your energy. They're doing everything they can. Shy of uh, 
trying to buy your love. So the factor affecting the situation was you saw what was in those cups with the swing. Ace of Wands. To the Seven of Cups, to the Eight of Cups, and you walked away. Because didn't none of those cups have anything you wanted. At all. Over, done, finite. I'll wait. I'll wait. What is this family intervention or whatever this is? This is in the outside influence. It's, it's totally random. I don't know what that is. It's totally random from this whole story. Maybe it's their family doing an intervention. Don't know. Like I said, it's totally random. Happy Mother's Day, all you mothers out there. I didn't even know it was Mother's Day because that's, that's how much I celebrate. And I got kids. They didn't tell me either. Then again, they might be celebrating with their own kids. They too busy. Again, with what is what is going on with this family intervention stuff? So we got the world card. We got balance in the family with the ten of pentacles and strength. Like I said, we have some loving energy here. Really loving energy that's trying to intervene into a situation that there's that has nothing to do with them. I mean, who you choose and what you choose, Scorpio, is your business. It should not be the family's business. And, and I do see you bringing balance to that situation regardless. You're putting an end to things once and for all. That is your wish. And transforming it into something that is more suitable for you. There's that five of wands. I knew it. Conflict, chaos. And somebody's trying to like be the mediator here. And fix things between you and maybe your family or, or you and the family. I don't Please leave a comment below. I do feel like somebody is trying to mediate a situation. With the temperance popping up twice from the Ten of Pentacles, there might even be a mediation, a legal mediation here between you and family members. And you just want it to be over. There's going to be some kind of a... a a remedy or a fix to this situation by the end. But you're still choosing to be on your own and away from everybody with your new beginning in finances. Virgo energy. Could actually be dealing with a Virgo who's making an offer. Or Pisces, because I got a lot of Pisces in here, because there's a lot. Pisces, you Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. And Scorpio. Somebody's making some kind of offer here. Because they went within to seek their answers. Too late, Scorpio. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, the Apology and the Judgment. 
Somebody's very, very sorry they misjudged you. Very sorry. Could be Sag, because we got Sag here a few times too. Somebody took your your loving, kind energy for weakness. They were wrong. And now they're sorry for it, Scorpio. Where you choose to take that is going to totally be up to you. Like I said, somebody's definitely sorry here for whatever they've done. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Page of Cups. They want a new beginning with you, Scorpio. Like I said, if it's family, you know, maybe you're willing to give them a second chance. Maybe not. Maybe there's too much been done here. I don't know. But do know that it is coming from a place of love. I mean, I can't, I can't even deny that fact. It is coming from what they wish for you is a is is a good thing. Um, like I said, weird family intervention in the middle of my reading. It's kind of weird. All right, we're gonna find out what each sign's got to say to my Scorpios. Let's see what each sign got to say to my Scorpios. Aries. Aries. You can't come with me. Bye. Taurus. Taurus. Sometimes I hear voices. Told you somebody might need to have that checked. Gemini. Gemini. I hope I will see you again soon sometime. Cancer. Cancer. <laughs> I'm waiting for an apology. You the one that got poked in the forehead. <laughs> Help. Leo. 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 I know I made a mistake. Is it too late, Scorpio? Virgo. I need to focus on my healing. Absolutely. By all means, please. Leo. Uh, no, not Leo. Libra, my bad. My bad. Libra, not Le Libra. I wondered how far this would go. Whatever. Scorpio, Scorpio, my baby dragons. What you got to say to my Scorpios? Ah, a couple different things. I told you, Scorpios got a lot to talk about today for some reason. I've been struggling and I love myself enough to walk away. I love myself enough not, not not to let you manipulate me into thinking that there's something wrong with me. I, I, I feel I feel like that, guys. I don't know why. Like I said, this family intervention just jumped out in the middle of my reading. And there ain't nothing wrong with you. You got a brand new beginning coming. Don't let people tell you who you are, Scorpio. You be who you are no matter what. It's not a phase, Mom. It's a real thing with you. Sagittarius. I've been here before with others. And others. And others. And others. And others. You get around, Sag. You get around. Capricorn. Capricorn. Have 
Capricorn. What you got to say to my Scorpios? Because I know there's one around there somewhere. I forgive you. For what? Like I said, there's... There's something going on here with a whole group of people. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Ten of Cups, twi Ten of Pentacles twice. The Herm or the the uh, Temperance twice. Sagittarius with the with the strength. These people are not playing around. All right, where were we at? Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. I guess I'll name this a family intervention because this is what it's looking like. I don't need your approval. Not a problem. And Pisces. I don't really know you. If you don't know somebody, you don't know somebody. And I don't think... Yeah, somebody don't know about this, that's for sure. And it might be a Pisces, because we have Pisces here a few times. They don't know that you're dealing with what you're dealing with right now. They have no idea. Because they don't know you. They don't know what you have going on. And this is, your body language says so much. You're saying that to all these other people. All you got to do is move. And I got your number. Let's see what the uh, what the hidden realms has got to say. Got the spiral dancer in reverse. Oh, where's my glasses? Oh, I gotta go get my glasses because I can't see without. Y'all know. Y'all already know. So we got this in reverse. I didn't even know that was on. Huh. That's my daughter. My daughter. Spiral dancer in reverse. So this came, it says, Circuitous Root and Perception. Oh, wow. There's something else underneath of it. And the Sisters of the Season, which is upright. Cycles of Growth, Natural Law, and Divine Order. So this says, it seems like you're, as if you're getting caught out of breath, going in the wrong direction. Sometimes you're so busy dancing to your own tune that you find yourself out of step with everyone else. Perhaps now is the time to regroup, sit down, and rest for a while until the rhythm calls you, ah, the hermit, to dance again. Spiral dancer's message is a gentle one, so be still and know that you're always loved. If your question is about a relationship, don't be too assertive now. This is a time to be receptive and allow someone else to take the lead and show his or her true nature to you. At the same time, be careful of being manipulated. You will know the truth about your situation clearly if you sit this dance out and observe. Whoa. Sit this one out, Scorpio. You don't really want any part of it anyway. You already know where it's going to lead. Okay, and this came in as an ally, so it's here to tell you something. It says, when the sisters of the season meet you on your path, they remind you that everything has a natural rhythm 
that obeys a higher law. Just as the seasons magically pass, be reminded that the nature of birth, growth, harvest, and decay cannot be altered. So if you keep on your path with, de with determination and discernment, allowing the natural course of events to unfold, success is assured. Divine appropriate timing is guiding your desires into perfect manifest form. This is a very good period to start new things as you've moved out of winter into the beginning of spring. Continue with patience and be aware of the rhythms of your opportunities. There will be periods when things slow down and begin anew, move into fruition, and then slow down again in a never-ending natural flow. Be mindful of which sister greets you, for she points directly to the next. And every moment counts now. So, what that is telling me is that you need to sit back and observe this whole situation. And don't put your full self into it, because the natural order of things will work it out. And it will be in your favor if you allow, instead of like jumping in with claws out, um, because yeah, so that's, that's what you're contemplating right now and your challenge is at the same time. I feel like it's, it's like you want to hurt, not, not hurt, um. You want to be heard. And you want the facts, nothing but the facts. All this. And and, and and people are trying to manipulate your energy, Scorpio. And you've got to let them know that you ain't having it. No matter, no matter what, like I said, this family intervention is throwing me off of this reading so much. I don't know what is it. You want options, you want choices, and not the choice that's being handed to you. So, pull yourself out of that situation and see it from a higher perspective. Okay? Well, those are your messages. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you at the live tomorrow. Happy Mother's Day.